Hey everybody, this is Steve with Smitty's Flybox. I'd like to introduce the intermediate tying box for May. We're going to do a fluttering stone fly. So this is a really fun fly to tie. We've got pre-punched foam bodies with these nice wings on there that really add to it. So it's a great little early season stone fly pattern or just your general all around summertime uh, attractor as well. So I hope you enjoy this one. Okay, what we've got is just a Daiichi 2220 uh, streamer hook there, size 12. I'm using 6 out thread. So we'll just start our thread. And let's lay down a nice layer of thread all along there and try to coat that hook shank. So we're going to be tying some foam and stuff, so I'll add a little glue on there just to kind of help keep things from twisting around on us. So I'm just going to put a small little tiny layer of glue along there and let that kick for a second. And the first thing we'll do is we'll start with our dubbing. So I'm going to tie a purple. We're going to go purple. So I'm going to use the purple dubbing. I've never seen a purple stone fly, but you know, it seems like the cool color these days. All right, so I'm just going to start dubbing, and let's let's just work our way from the back here, and I'll just lay down a nice even layer. I'm going to come about just above the point of the hook, and that's where I'll tie in my pre-cut bodies that we've punched out for you. So take the back groove and just kind of line that up. Oops. We'll take the uh, back groove and just line that up right there, so that should extend right out here out the front. And we'll come around and still have a little dubbing on there, but that's okay. We'll just cinch that down with three or four good turns. And now we'll just continue dubbing up underneath there to the next segment. So let's, so let's pull that foam back up there real tight and that's come right up underneath and continue working forward to the next segment, which is about right there. And we'll secure that down with a couple of good turns. All right, now is where we can start with our legs. So I've got some, just some regular old flex floss. And I'm gonna uh, lay one, one down first on this side so it extends about there to the end of the uh, body couple good turns like that and let's repeat that on the other side okay a couple good turns like that now those legs might want to not lay just right I'm gonna add a little bit of dubbing there to just push those front legs back a little bit so let's just load up a little more dubbing on our thread. And let's hold those back legs back. We'll just make a couple of turns right there like that. And that really helps those legs to stay there. And now we can uh, continue dubbing up underneath to the next segment. So we'll pull everything back and just continue building that nice dubbed body going forward. All right, we should be to our last segment there, right at the head. We'll secure that in. Now let's pull those legs forward and let's uh, tie those in. We can do them both at the same time. And that gets those sticking forward like that. Now we can trim those off to about the length that we like, just like that. All right, now we're ready for the wing. So I've just got some of this packing foam and I've cut a pretty long strip there and I cut it so it's about the same width as the foam body. And I'm gonna take this and just try to uh, tie it in, make sure that's extended out the back. This, uh, you know, so you're gonna have double wing out the back. So let's tie that, hold that right there. And we'll come in here and secure that in right there at that top one. Okay, let's just pull everything forward now. 
All right, now we need to do our, our third set of legs for the middle there. There's a little trick to this. Um, let's just lay a little tiny drop of glue right there on the foam. And what I'm going to do is as I diagonal wrap that back, I'm actually going to stick that foam in there. So we'll just lay that foam in there, and then as I diagonal wrap back, it lays down right on that uh, glue, and we'll secure that in there like that, and we'll come back to that section there. All right, so it's just held in there by glue and one piece of thread. You can also punch it through the foam. That's another way you could do it as well. All right, now we're ready to fold back the wings. Lay it tight right along the top, and we'll come around and make sure we're in that segment right there. Now we can trim these legs down. And there's our wings out there. We can trim these down and, and kind of uh, round them so they look like... Uh, little stone fly wings so we can... Just take a couple of snips and like that. And they work really well. You can spread them apart just slightly like that. All right, now we're, let's put a little wing on there, um, a little yarn. So I've just taken my poly yarn like this, pulled out one strand like that, and stretched it and clipped it down. And then I've just laid some of that Zelon right on top. And now I've got a little clump there that I can tie down. So let's tie it down right there. We can slip it down there to the end where we like it. And then make a few turns like that. And now we can trim that off however long we like it. It's amazing how that visibility really helps. All right, now we're ready to uh, whip finish right up in that, that space right there. So we'll come right up. We'll come right up in that yarn. And just bring our triangle between everything like that. And now we can whip finish right there. We'll snip that off. And I like to come in here with just a little drop of drop of a uh, super glue just on those thread wraps right there and now we have a fluttering stonefly